If you've lived in Madison for any amount of time, you've probably in the spring or summer heard honking overhead. That is the honking of the Canadian geese. You've probably even seen them congregating in Madison parks. For some of us, they might be fun to look at. For some of us, they might be a bit of a nuisance. Either way, there is a humane way to manage the geese population. Here to talk a little bit more about that is Mary Telfer from the Alliance for Animals. Mary, so good to have you with us. Hi, it's good to be here. Yeah, we're talking about something called Goose Patrol here, which is something that the Alliance for Animals puts on. What is it? What is Goose Patrol? Goose Patrol is simply people getting together to help the Parks Department to manage the geese humanely. We, um, we adopt a park, um, especially the parks where the geese tend to go and a lot of people tend to go because um, the thing that people don't like about geese is to step in their droppings. Of course, no one likes that, but uh, still they have a right to be there as much as we do. And so we go out there and we haze geese and count geese for the parks department. And as a bonus, clean up after the geese, which is really not that bad. Um, and hazing might sound cruel, but like a fraternity guys are getting together, you know, to run after the geese, but it's actually just, you can clap your hands, use a whistle. It's basically letting them know, like, try to go somewhere else. They're trying to get the, give them a natural fear of humans so that they don't, you know, get themselves in harm's way in, in some ways. Yeah, I mean, right, somewhat. Yeah. So why is this important? What happens to the geese if we don't do this? How and why do they need to be saved? You know, it's really, really important. Um, very often in the summer, the parks department will have someone come out and they separate the, the babies, the teenage geese from the parents and they take the parents to slaughter and they take the babies and put them in a little refrigerator type thing that is actually a gas chamber. It's really cruel. And sometimes they've done it to hundreds of geese. Not that the ma number really matters. I mean, it's cruel no matter how many geese this gets done to. And geese are very much like humans. They value their families. Um, they mate for life. They don't forget a face. Like if you ever rescue a goose, you know, they will remember you. Um, yeah, it, it's just very cruel and it's unnecessary and the geese come back. Yeah, if there's other ways to do it that are more humane, I mean, why not? When is this happening? When are these geese mo most in danger? Well, they're in danger between um, mid-June and late July. It's about a six week period and it's because they're molting. And so sometimes in the summer you might see they kind of stick together when they're molting um, for protection and because they can't get away, they're stranded really. And um, they're losing their feathers and gaining new feathers and they can't fly. And so it's, the park district will take advantage of the fact that they can't fly and they call it a roundup. They round them up and just, yeah, kill them. Mary, you mentioned some of the things that you're doing with this goose patrol that are more humane ways of managing the geese. What are some other humane methods of managing a, a, a goose or geese population? And what has the AFA or Alliance for Animals done to try to change minds about this practice? Yeah, um, the most long-term thing is habitat modification, uh, growing long grasses near the water because that's what geese don't like. They um, feel like there could be predators. Um, there's egg oiling in early April, which short-term things that we brought to their attention, sent them links, you know, told them about um, a towable manure um, collector. There's a repellent to spray on grass. There's actually something called the Goosenator Infinity 5000, which is a, a little pen that costs about $75 um, or looks like a pen. It's a laser that you aim at the geese. It doesn't hurt them, but you have to do it um, in the very early morning or after dusk. Oh gosh, coyote cutouts, those are relatively cheap and we've offered them money too. We've offered them thousands of dollars to help pay for a lot of this. And um, we've got about 20 seconds left, Mary, but what can people who are watching right now do to get involved? Well, you can contact us or you can contact Paul Quinlan at the Parks Department. Um, his phone number is 608. 
267-4918. And he is gathering volunteers to help Hayes and count the geese and report back to him. And to also to politely ask him to not kill the geese. Mary Telfer from the Alliance for Animals, thank you so much for joining us here today. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.